Alright, so I don't know how many of you are still watching baseball, but I don't think I will too much anymore. Uh, football season around the corner, and hockey season around the corner. Eagles are pretty much... Not the Eagles, Phillies, they're doing... Going from champions to losers. They win the first game of the series against the Braves, and then they lose two straight. Now they're forever under the wild card spot. They lose 6-3, and then they lose 3-1 in the second game. So, but then they win the first game 5-1, and Charlie Manuel gets his thousandth, thousandth victory as a manager in the major leagues. And just, I don't know. We just seem to give up. We're under by a run. We're still trying to fight. We're like, yeah, yeah. Trying to get the run offense going. And the hitting. Not the run offense. It's football for you. And then we just give up after when we're down by two. And it's the second inning. Just land on left in the second inning when I think the game was still up for grabs. She was up for grabs. It was like one nothing or 2 nothing at that point. But I don't know. We just seem to give up. We have a lot of old players that are, that just don't show what they're capable of anymore. Uh, Ryan Howard's out for the season, pretty much, it seems like. He hasn't played in ages. Halliday's coming back. Rollins, Utley, I think, are the only veterans that are trying really hard. Ruiz, I guess. Howells is just having a tough season. Lee's doing well. And they're just there are probably some other guys too that are doing well too. Dominic Brown, he's lifting this offense. He hit another home run yesterday, I think. Yeah, he did a two run shot. He did a nice diving catch. Sorry, I'm stiff. It's just I don't know. I don't know. It's right to me, if you're a Philly sports fan, you follow the Eagles, Flyers, Seven Sixers, Phillies, and Seoul, you can say. Write down in the comment if you're still watching the Phillies. I don't think I will too much anymore. I have Game Pass for the baseball too, so I'll watch it, see what they can improve on, and comment. I'll still make videos, because I haven't made a baseball video in ages. Um, yeah. People are saying, should we fire, should we not follow, fire Charlie? I think we sh Yeah, I think we should. He's had a long run in this club. Sure, he brought us to two freaking World Series in a row. So he did his job. It's like Andy Reid. Same situation. Exact same. Eight years ago, we loved him. It was eight years ago for the Eagles. 2004 brought us to the Super Bowl that season. For the Phillies, it was four years ago. Was it four years ago? Five years ago now. He brought us to the World Series. We won. The next year after that, we lost. From then on, championship game in the National League. Divisional wild card, and now we're out. We've been, we haven't made the playoffs in two. This is the second year running. We will make the playoffs. Am I mad? Sort of. As a Philadelphia sports fan, I want to get value for my sport teams. Which I don't think I am right now, and neither is the city. I think the Seoul. I think a lot of people are going to watch on Saturday. We got. A lot of games left for this season, though, for the baseball, so technically it's not over yet, but I just don't think these guys have the mindset to come back and win X amount of games in a row and make the wild card playoffs. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry to say, but I don't think we'll make the playoffs this year. It's easy as that. Do we need new management, i.e. coaching like CEO and uh, Ruben Amaro Jr.? Yes, we do. We need new management. Same things. Eagles, I think they're doing all right now. There are doubts last year if we needed a new management. We needed to kick out Jeff Lurie, but it sort itself out, sort of. But with the baseball, with the baseball, um, yes, we do come to a certain point where 
we're losing games, and it's not the players' faults. It's either the coaching or the bad decision making. We are currently 53-67, and we're behind the Mets. <laughs> well, you look at that. <laughs> if you see the standings, you can see it on my phone. Won't be clear though. We're 20.5 games behind Atlanta. Mets are 18 and a half, and Washington are 14. And then Miami are just chilling in the bottom, 27 games behind. <laughs> and only six and a half games behind us, so we're almost dead last. It's cool. It's a solid job, Phillies. Before our road win in the first game of the series against Atlanta, it was our first. We we're trying to break a 13 game losing streak on the road. Just that. Then we win the game. I'm like, all right, cool. We can get the sweep for the Insta Atlanta, and then we'll be right back into this. Lose that game, and then lose the next game. And then there you go. You're 20 and a half back. See, are there any other teams that are worse than. Yeah, Miami, obviously. Chicago and Milwaukee, they're 52. They've won 52 games. And then San Francisco are doing worse, too. Angel is 53. Chicago, Houston. We're like the fifth worst team in the whole league right now. And with the players and the potential we have, it's terrible. We should at least be in the playoff spots with our lineup and with our players. Sure, we got injuries along the way and na na na. Braves did too. What did anything stop them? No. Should they stop us? No. Have they? Yes. Just a thing to think about there, Charlie. We have a tough off season, I think. This year is gonna be a rebuilding year for us. As with the Flyers, it was sort of a rebuilding year. Eagles was a mega rebuilding year. So, yeah. I would say this will be a rebuilding year for the Phillies, 2014, before the 2014 season. It's going to be tough to adjust at first, but it's the way you got to do things. Congratulations to Charlie on his 1,000th win, as I said. He's a great coach. I won't take that away from him, but just like Andy Reid, he's a good coach too, but his time has come when you stay in a ball club for more than 10 years. Other teams know what you're doing and how they counter that and beat you. It's just the way it is. So, it's a shame. It sucks, I know. We're playing against the Dodgers. Next series, I think, at home. So, that's home. That's good. Dodgers are on a streak, so that's going to be a tough matchup. Normally, they were like behind us when we played the Dodgers last time in L.A., now they're ahead of us. They have 70 wins and 50 losses. And that will be on the 17th of August. 16th of August. They'll play tomorrow night, that is. At home. Three game series. It will be televised on WPHL at 1.05 a.m. my time, 7.05 p.m. your time. Zach Kronecki. 10-3, on ERA against Cliff Lee, 10-5, High of 80 degrees, low of 62, precipitation 10%. So that means anything to you guys. I think Cliff Lee comes out perfect like he normally does. The offense is there. We have a shot of winning. Snap the Dodgers losing streak. They're going to be shut. They're going to be like, oh no, we're losing. And then they lose the next three games. That's the perfect situation, scenario. May not happen, but at this point of the season when you're pretty much 17 games or 20.5 games behind the division leader, you try to hope for miracles. And this is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough season, but it's like the Eagles last year. At 4-8, and eight, I knew we weren't going to make the playoffs. I was just watching the games, watching, 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 and watching. 
It was like a face palm every game. It was like a slap. I follow so many freaking sport groups on Facebook, and just watching them hate on the Eagles just made me sad. It's kind of funny at times because people try to counter. It's like, oh, I'm an Eagles fan. They don't suck. And then try to come up with an argument to counter what they said. It was just, it was sad. We shouldn't be in that situation. We got the players and tend to be like that. Same thing will happen to the Phillies, though, but hopefully they win these games. I want them to win. I'm still a big fan of the Phillies. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I love all Philadelphia sport teams. But they need to change. I don't know. What, you, what do you guys think? Should we fire their coaches? Who should we re-sign? Was it a good decision signing out Lee again? I think it was. Write in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys later.